Howdy folks and welcome back to another World of, uh, World of Tanks replay with your host Bjorn. So I hope you have yourself some strapped in for some freedom. Just look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Just the tank you need for when you turn freedom up to 11. So what you have here, this is the, this is the T26 E5 Patriot. This has the special Patriot camo where it says we the people on the gun barrel. Eagles, stars. I wouldn't mind this tank. I, I just want the plain Jane green one, though, because this just, this thing looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, it is a good tank in World of Tanks. It's got a slightly more powerful 90 millimeter gun than the Pershing. And essentially, in all regards, it's a heavier built Pershing. Um, the idea was a, a basis. We'll start to replay as I talk about the tank. Uh, the basis of the vehicle was um, due to the success of the Sherman Jumbo. Uh, it was decided to do the same thing with the Pershings. Um, so this is essentially it's an assault Pershing. Um, the, the tank isn't the, the armor of the tank isn't bad. The turret is very strong. Uh, the 90 mil gun, as I said, it's. The alpha damage isn't necessarily the best, but it is powerful enough. Um, what it has is it has really good penetration, and it loads a standard ammunition APCR with 230 millimeters of penetration. And then it also has a premium APCR, which shoots, uh, shoots at almost 260 millimeters of penetration. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good tank. It's pretty well armored. It's definitely armored, better armored than the Pershing. But as you can see, it's actually fairly mobile too. Um, it does lose a little bit of mobility. Um, it was governed to be slower than the actual regular Pershings, mostly due to the armor. Um, that was to help prevent stress on the suspension. Um, total said than done, there was a 27 of these built and it never entered full main production. Um, production started in July 1945, and by then it was just, it was too late in the war to make any difference. All right, so Martel's moving up here. He's also got a platoon mate in this game. Uh, Hellhound is running with him, and R Hellhound is running with the Chrysler uh, the Chrysler K, which is another premium heavy American tank. Um, uh, I got some regards to the per to, to the to the Chrysler K. There we go. Oh, bounced around off the uh, T110. There we go. Put one into his lower glacius. Put another one into him. As you can see, he's got a pretty good rate of fire. And it's got a very strong turret. The Commander's Coppola is a weak spot on this, but it's such a hard spot to hit. Um, slightly missed the turret cheek there. Bounce another shot. Put another round into the T-10. Playing the smart here, he's keeping his tank hull down. Two IS-3s. There's one shot into an IS-3. Um, that one entered the IS-3 black hole. And that one, who knows where it went. Another shot into an IS-3 here. There we go, between Martel the Hammer and the uh, King Tiger over there, they, they pretty well handled the uh, the T-10 and the two IS-3s. They also had an Allied T-10, which unfortunately they had lost. Take 
takes a blind shot at the bridge. KV-5. Puts one shot in a KV-5 and tracks him. Another shot in a KV-5. Third shot in a KV-5. But you know, they can buff the KV-5 up to be able to match this thing in combat. Teh. Okay. As you all know, the KV-5 has preferential matchmaking. Um, and the, the the Patriot here is meant to deal with tier 10s. Okay, so now they're down to tank destroyers. Fires a blind shot and definitely hit the dirt. Traeger. Oh, he missed the waffle, waffle tractor. Missed a shot at the con. Uh, sorry, his shirt's here. Oh, but landed a shot at the scorpion. Oh, waffle tractor. And took a hit. Reloaded. There we go, put a shot in the waffle tractor. Now at this point I've obviously would have loaded a high explosive, but ain't nothing with armor piercing. Armor piercing does work. And it's more reliable shell in my opinion. Shot from the waffle tractor. Okay, all that's left is the enemy charioteer. There's a shot and the kill shot in the Terrier tier. And that's the end of the game. Obviously, they won. Final results here. So Martel grabs himself a Confederate and does just a little over 3,000 damage and blocked over uh, 1,300 damage, including blocking a shot from the Waffle Tractor. So that's not all bad in itself. He even blocked a shot from the T-10. As you can see, he was top damage, and he almost was top damage overall, but the Waffle Tractor beat him out on top damage overall. Uh, not bad for a Tier 9 game. Uh, pretty well played by uh, Martel and his team. Uh, poorly executed by the enemy heavy tanks. Um, so, yeah, not a bad game. Well, I hope you enjoyed this replay. I'll see you next time.